get started using VoiceThread, you'll need to visit the website at voicethread.com. From here, you can sign in or register for a free account. You will be taken to your dashboard where you can see your existing voice threads. You can use the gear box to edit these or delete them. And if you would like to create a new one, simply go to the Create tab. To begin, you need to upload content of some sort. This can be pictures or it can be PowerPoint files. If it is a PowerPoint file, each slide will be put into a separate page or separate slide within this voice thread. And if I upload pictures, which I will do right now from my computer, each picture will be placed on a different slide. I'm going to select several pictures of squirrels and upload them all at one time. So here are all my uploaded pictures. I can record narration to accompany them, but if I would like text to go with them, it's actually better for me to format some of my slides in PowerPoint. And I'll upload one of those next. So in a PowerPoint, I've put in pictures and text to go with it. So you could have students create their story offline in PowerPoint ahead of time, and then simply save and upload all of this into VoiceThread and add the narration later. So that's what I'll do now. I'll go in and I'll upload again from my computer and I'll browse to that PowerPoint file. And now you can see my PowerPoint slides have been added in. Again, each one is a different page or different slide. From here, I can easily just drag and drop my slides into a different order until I have my story just the way I like it. The next step is for me to add my narration to my slides. And to do that, I move on to step two, which is comment. So here's one of my PowerPoint slides that has the text with it. If I click the comment button, I'll see the different options that I have. You'll see one of these options is to type. But if I hit this option and type in some comments and click save, my text does not appear on the image. It's over here on the side as a comment because VoiceThread is designed to be a collaborative tool where a group could upload a presentation for a business proposal and everyone could look through it and make some comments on the side. So that's not gonna work for digital storytelling. Comments is not the best feature. So instead of adding typed comments, I'm gonna use the record feature here to add my narration to this slide. And all you need to do is click the record button. You get a message asking if Adobe Flash can access your microphone, just say allow. And then you get the message, it just says, okay, start talking. So you can go through and you can read exactly what's on your slide. So I can read because pizza was not delivered often, fighting usually broke out over who got the last slice and click stop. The message, it just said, okay, start talking. So you can go through. I get a preview and if I like it, I simply click save. Now when my voice thread is playing, my narration that I recorded on that slide will play with it as well. I can go on to the next slide using the advanced button in the lower right. And again, I can use the record button to record my narration for this slide. This one does not have words. If I wanted it to have words accompanying it along the bottom of the slide, I should add those in PowerPoint and re-upload this slide. Now at any point in my story, I can go back to step one and upload and edit, rearrange the order of my pictures or add in some more. When I'm finished commenting and adding my pictures, I go to the last step, step three, which is to share. What you'll do for our project is use the get a link button and this is where you can also adjust your privacy settings. So I'm not going to have anyone be able to comment on this voice thread, but I would like everyone to be able to view it. When I'm happy with those, I'm gonna click the close button. And now I'm gonna use the options along the bottom to get my embed code for this project. Now first I'm gonna look at the playback options. My voice thread is set to start playing when opened. I like that. Show full screen when open. This is something I can decide if I'd like to. Why not? Allow others to export. If I don't want anyone else exporting my project, I just uncheck that and allow others to make a copy. This one also says to wait four seconds before turning the slide. 
And I believe that four seconds is the minimum. Of course, if you have narration on each slide, it will not cut you off. I'm going to go with those defaults. I can always come back and change it and click Save. If you look at your export options along the bottom, you'll see that exporting to some of the typical movie formats to, to use for computers, TVs, iPods, or iPhones is part of their paid service. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to skip over to publishing options. And this is again where I can decide if I want to allow anyone to view this, which I do. And whether I want anyone to be able to comment on my voice thread and whether or not I want to moderate those comments. When you're happy with everything, click Save. And at last, now we are going to get our embed code. So click the Embed button. This is how you're going to turn in your voice thread. Here's the link to the voice thread, which you could link to a website, but I actually want you to embed this right within our Schoology course. So here's the embed code. I just want you to click the Copy This button. And you'll see the message that lets me know it's been copied to the clipboard. Then you're going to go over to our Wired Writing course in Schoology, and you're going to go into Session 4 on Digital Storytelling, and you will find our Digital Storytelling Project Collection Discussion. Select that link. Include a brief statement that includes the title of your project, and if you're using VoiceThread, you'll use the link option. Where it says enter a URL or embed code, you're going to paste in the code that we copied. Again, you can add in a title if you'd like to, and click Attach. Choose the blue Post button, and your project has been turned in. If you would like to preview it, just click the Play button. And that is how you use VoiceThread and turn your project in.